Hi there everyone, today I'm going to be doing an event run of the Volcanic Power event. Now, unfortunately I can't have a second person in my party because chat is down, uh, it says all friends are offline, um, and I want to do this on a Sunday, so I'm not going to wait for another day where I can have another person in my party. But it doesn't really matter because this has got to be one of the easiest events ever. Um, it's it's a series of mini bosses which uh, when put together usually mini bosses have some kind of weakness and essentially in this one stun is the thing to go with um, you can stun quite a few of the bosses and make it a whole lot easier uh, yeah you'll you'll see when I get into it the stats um, on the items very similar to the last step as always and um, I think uh, I haven't done a full breakdown just to save my own time but I think Basically, I think it's down on armor, up on health, and I think it's also up on, um, it's got more parry and a bit less dodge. Uh, I think it's quite a lot more parry. I think it's it's got an additional stat in here of parry, um, and it hasn't got any fewer dodge stats, uh, but then there's the loss in the, the set bonus. Also, it's strange, they've changed the health to a three set bonus, so you could actually have five of the old set and three of the new set and have a lot of health, um, uh, which is possible, definitely, because the items are very similar in the stats, that you can actually do that without uh, without losing out on much. But anyway, um, I like to get the quick chance. I, I feel that if I didn't have that quick chance, I probably wouldn't be hitting criticals all the time. Um, but yeah, there's I haven't got... Uh, sorry, the enemies in this event are uh, elemental enemies, and ice will do more damage than fire will do less. So you, you want to make sure you have the um, the skill ones on both uh, fireball and incinerate, uh, so that they do some damage. Uh, fireball then becomes frozen sphere, which is a lot more powerful. Um, I don't actually have frost don't that skill. I have tried it out, uh, but I haven't got it yet, just because to get it, I'd probably get rid of parry or dodge, and I don't know if there's any point. Um, in this event, I don't actually use any frost armor. Uh, it has no use in this event, uh, so I would I would switch frost armor to use fr um, frost drake if you have it. Uh, that would be the best the best use for it. But thunderbolt is the one which shines in this event. Uh, it's pretty much all I use, and uh, just thunderbolt. I think a bit of protection bubble, a bit of teleport. That's all you really need. Um, so yeah, I'll just jump in with the event right now. The first mini boss is the easiest, and I would show the whole fight, like what he can do. Uh, but uh, well, actually, yeah, I will do. But I'll show the beginning. Uh, how, what you can do to him is just incinerate. I don't think he has any resistance to incinerate, so you can just literally sit here, use a frozen sphere, incinerate, uh, sorry, thunderbolt, and you'll pretty much kill him. You have got to watch out for that fire walk. Uh, but yeah, you can see that's it done. He's down. If it wasn't lagging, <laughs> um, yeah, uh, yeah, that's pretty much that fight, that first fight done. If you don't kill him, then he does spawn a couple of imps and some kind of uh, fire enemy that fires off. Any but you've got so much space, you can just run around. He moves in quite quickly. You can teleport to the side or just stun. <laughs> um, if you don't have vulnerable, it is the easiest skill room to get. But if you don't have it, then you can uh, use the stun trinkets, which come in. Uh, they come in forge bonus, uh, so that quite, that's quite easy to make. You get, I think, 80% stun as a maximum on your basic attack, which keeps them chain stunned if they have no resistance. Uh, so he, he'll just sit there as you attack him. It's actually better than using Thunderbolt because Thunderbolt has a bit of cooldown between uh, between the attacks. Now here, just avoid these. Uh, you can teleport through as well. This next guy, I think, is immune to stun. He fires down these uh, fireballs, which then make a tower that just. Uh, oh great! I stood where the where the suicide would be. But yeah, he makes those towers which uh, you've just run through before, so you know what they're like. I'd actually not bother moving until a lot later on because it takes a while to use the tower. So he's charging up the attack now. There's no point moving until about now. Um, and then yeah, otherwise, just take down the enemies when they spawn. Try not to stand where the enemy spawned, <laughs> like I did. Um, and yeah, he's not a tricky fight either. Make sure you keep your mana. Uh, that's what I would suggest. Don't bother really using it. I think the other moves he's got are slow down, uh, air effect attack, 
and uh, I think he's got a few shots as well, like like a wizard basic attack, and some fireballs down from the sky. If you're going to dodge anything, dodge the fireballs. Uh, the other attacks don't really do much at all. Uh, this is where the thief appears. Oh, why is it lagging like that? Today is not a good day. Um, yeah, so that fight isn't challenging. That thief, of, oh, sorry, the thief. The thief takes ages to appear for whatever reason. I actually like to open lock boxes while I wait here. Now this next section can be a little awkward to navigate through. Um, I got quite an easy pass through there. Uh, but yeah, just wait and sort of see the openings. Teleport through this last bit. We generally have to teleport through. Um, now here we have two mini bosses. The one on the left is like a ranging enemy. The one on the right is a melee enemy. I will go for the ranging enemy first. And again, it has no resistance to stun. So you just um, circle around, use a bit of Frozen Sphere, incinerate, that's oh, why Thunderbolt. Um, yeah, basically I just keep away from the melee enemy, and I make sure that I keep my mana up for when... Uh, I want my mana to be full when this enemy dies. He can power up... Uh, he does the... I can't remember what they call it, Fire Nova. He also got the me he's got the Mega Fireball, which the Mega Fireball does um, damage like the sniper skill does on the archer, which is the further away you are, the more damage it does. So if it has come a long distance, make sure you don't get hit by it. But if you're right next to him, it won't do much damage at all. Anyway, so he can also power up this guy uh, to give him an effect like flame armor, which is like a around him he emits fire and it does quite a bit of damage actually. Otherwise this guy is like an enemy used in previous events except now when he's left alone he'll actually power up um, slowly over time he goes more and more powerful but you can see what you can just do is run away um, I used a bit of protection bubble there but this is why I want mana because uh, what you can do is just literally run and just use Thunderbolt and that's how you can kill him um, I'd already damaged him a bit earlier on but yeah, you can just run around for minutes using Thunderbolt and you want to make sure you have the mana to do that. Uh, it's harder to get in a couple of basic attacks. But yeah, that's the event already over. Um, it's not challenging at all. I don't know I don't know how it is for knights, uh, but archers and wizards definitely can find it easy. Uh, archers could just... even powerful ones could switch out for the stun trinkets. Um, I think they do have a skill which does stun as well. It's not one which is normally used, but they could just switch out to that. And then the only bosses which are immune to stun that second one, which doesn't really do a lot of damage, and then the third one, that well, the final one, which I like to take out, uh, which yeah, isn't isn't tricky if you just keep running away. And you should have I have forty six percent move speed, and you can just switch out Ravenous Wand, and that will pretty much get you uh, staying away from them. I got lucky with the first few runs. I got I got this earring, the the better earring, twice from the first run. And then the next run I got the charm, and then later on I got the ring. Um, I am looking to get this event set. I quite like it. I think it would be nice to get some parry for once, because for a while now I think the wizards have a lot of dodge. But anyway, that was the event run, and I hope it helps out. I will see you in a video soon.